back in Las Vegas, post haircut. Last time we were together, that was in Phoenix. Now we're back in Vegas, from one desert to another. So we need to step back a few days in time to pre-haircut Andrew, because we need to do yet another quick recap here. Brad Owen and I, we hosted another one of our fun meetup poker games, this time at a never before visited property in Las Vegas, Treasure Island. Back in Vegas at a new property. Well, not new property, but a property that we've never been to together. Just getting underway here, two five no limit hold'em, 1K max. We got two tables going. So this table and this table, I'm back there in the corner. I'm on one, Mr. Brad Owen is holding down the other one. Uh, pretty good turnout here at TI. Always cool to help support these, uh, these smaller rooms that exist on the strip. And it's awesome to see uh, the turnout that's happened so far and expecting more people to show up as the night goes on. So I'll be in there for a thousand to start. Current beverage number is one beer and one Jaeger bomb. I did a live stream with Brad Owen on there and uh, somebody out there bought us a shot. So I'm trying to hold it down and take it a little bit slowly, especially as uh, the night is young here. But we'll see. You know how these games end up. It might go without saying by now, but obviously it wouldn't be a meetup game without the beverages. Cheers guys. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for coming out. Getting around a poker game, poker table. Cheers guys. Thanks for being here. Alright guys, game is underway here and we got two full tables. Pretty good turnout for a Wednesday in August here at Treasure Island. And also, already two shots plus one beer and a quarter deep. So yeah, really happy with the turnout and also a bit of action to report already. Looked down at Ace King in late position, opened it up to 20. Small blind three bets to $100, I think. I think about 100, 90 or 100. Ace King is a premium hand in late position, so I'm gonna put in a four bet and I make it 280 to go. We're 1K effective here. And the small blind decides that he's going to play for all of that effective money. Jams $1,000 into the middle. I know who this player is, and although I haven't played with him before, I think I have a fairly decent sense of what he thinks about late position versus small blind opens and three bets and four bets. So it's maybe not exactly a, a fist pump snap call, but it's definitely not a fold. So I call it off. We do not make any additional pairs as the board runs out, but the good news is that he says ace high on the river. We both show we're chopping this one up. So that's a bit of a relief after it runs out uh, pairless for us, but all good. So just taking a quick break to run over here and pick up some pizzas for the group. So in similar fashion as it's not being a meetup game without the beverages, this wouldn't be a poker vlog without me screwing up the recording of one of the poker hands. That's gonna be another $25 to charity. Somewhat amazing epic hand just kind of went down here and she needs to step away to report the details of it. I did not get it on camera, unfortunately. So you know the drill, $25 to X Charity, off to the hand. Action folds around to, I think, the cutoff, who raises it up to $20. Small blind calls, and I look down at six, seven of spades in the big blind. Could definitely go either way here, but I think a three bet sort of uh, is multi-purpose. I can win pre-flop. I can also win on a lot of uh, flops where I'll put, in a, put out a C bet, 
and I can also take it down uh, in some barreling situations. So I decide on a three bet and I make it, I think $95. The initial razor calls and the small blind folds. So heads up to a flop. Flop comes ace, six, three with two spades. Pair plus flush draw. I think you can make a case for checking here, but I decided to put out a bet. I decided to put out a C bet and make it $100. The cutoff makes the call. So we are going to a turn card, which is an offsuit seven. So we make two pair here. Now I'm gonna bet for value, and I don't think I need—I don't think I need to bet too big because there's not too many cards that I'm afraid of. I don't feel like I need to uh, size too big to uh, charge any draws, seeing as I have the main draw in my hand. I want to keep all ace, king, ace, queen, ace, jack uh, type hands in there, and I want to size appropriately. So I bet $175. My opponent only has about five to six hundred dollars in his stack, and he decides to jam all in. So I think it's pretty straightforward. Two pair plus plus draw on this board. He could easily ha he could easily be betting a worse hand for value. Maybe some sort of a combo draw, but uh, pretty less. Perhaps that's less likely with me blocking a bunch of those hands. So regardless, I'm just never folding here. Obviously, so I make the call. River is another seven. So we fill up on the river, I show my hand, and he shows us ace three. So a pretty ridiculous situation here. Amazing flop, amazing turn. Just a, just a ridiculous situation overall. Two pair versus two pair plus plus draw. I was never getting away from this hand, neither was he. And uh, river comes through for us, so I'm gonna scoop a nice little pot here in a 2 5 game. So I guess the opposite of me missing the recording of one of the hands would be me recording the hand, but failing to record the analysis of said hand. So in this hand, the small blind buys the button, the under the gun plus one player limps in, and I look down at pocket kings in middle position. Obvious raise here, I make it $25 to go. Folds back to the limper who makes the call. So a heads up flop, which comes down jack nine five with two spades. He checks it over to me, I make a pretty standard bet of $35 and he makes the call. Turns it off to queen and he checks it to me again. The board is pretty connected here and as a result, uh, I think there can be a temptation to just check it back and play some pot control here. But with us blocking straights and with there being lots of hands that we can get value from, uh, a lot of pair plus draw type hands, a uh, hand like queen 10, Jack 10, 10, 9, maybe even a king queen. Seems like lots of hands that we can get value from. So I want to charge those hands and I put out a bet of $95. My opponent makes the call again. So we're off to a river card, which is an offsuit five. Seems like a pretty ideal card for us. Uh, we're now beating all of the two pair hands that he would realistically have here in his range. All the draws have missed, so we should be able to go for a pretty decent size value and hope that he puts us on a missed draw of some sort. So I put out a bet of $255. He goes into the tank for quite some time, uh, thinks it over pretty deeply. Eventually he decides on a call. So I roll it over and within thinking that long, should have the winner here and in fact he goes ahead and mucks his hand shots time shots. checking in here checking in from the table shots cam that's what this will be this will be the shots cam <laughs> oh yeah i forgot sorry you're just slightly in the middle of the hand here you can multi pass though right I won. I guess that's good. All right, well, we can cheers to you. It's a winning shot. We can cheers to you winning. Thank you. All right, so a couple of hours and many shots later, and after someone had knocked over all my chips, I managed to get them all into the rack, and then it was time to carry out our uh, tradition, our, our post meetup game tradition of making our way to one of the casino center bars for uh, some post-game decompression and I don't know if you would say analysis with this many shots having been had, but just some hangout time. Some hangout time at the, one of the center bars. So, uh, so Andrew crushed, crushed the game today. What happened? I think I got back to even as far as the meetup games go. Well, that's good. 
Yeah, back to even. Yeah. Back to even is always good. So how, what, were, uh, what was the big hand today? I think we had a good turnout. Yeah. We had a great turnout. So this I already, was. Well, I already went over the biggest hand. Me, one on one with my audience. Oh, sorry. Whoops, whoops. <laughs> we don't never run. The post game hangout time is definitely one of my favorite aspects of these, these meetup games that we do. And uh, if it wasn't for the, the post game hangout session, then we would never have gotten to see Kevin from Germany's lovely Las Vegas tattoo. Kevin, no, no, Kevin, don't. show us your, uh, yeah, your, your German <laughs> Las Vegas <laughs> tattoo. Man. I'm committed. You know what they man. say about I love it. With, uh, no, 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 don't tell it. So as it tends to happen with these games, the footage that I had uh, been recording towards the end of the night just just kind of trails off, trails off into nothingness. Just uh, another really fun evening and both Brad and I would definitely plan on doing some more of these meetup games, uh, both here in Las Vegas and I know you guys are watching from many other locations. Uh, so we want to have these, uh, these meetup games in some other locations and do these elsewhere. So speaking of elsewhere, there's, there's just one more thing I want to show you guys. One more thing I want to put in this video. This has absolutely nothing to do with the meetup game. Nothing to do with anything previous in this video. So my apologies for the lack of a transition here. But I figured maybe I could balance out all of that gambling and all those beverages with something a little bit more Mother Nature approved, if you will. Cut to Nashville, Tennessee. All right, guys, coming at you from beautiful Lake Coleman here, Nashville, Tennessee. Boosie and I flew out here to come hang out with our friend Tara, as well as to take in a full eclipse, which is about to happen in like the next 45 minutes or so. So we got the GoPro ready to go, all set up. This guy's ready to go. Probably just be hovering over the lake, as well as the trusty old G7X which I'm not sure if I'm gonna be talking into or just set it down, take a time lapse and enjoy the moment. So here we go, Solar Eclipse 2017. 